This is my MacBook Pro. No, not really MacBook Pro. It's my MacBook 2009. It's running an Intel Core Duo processor. Really old. This is 2009. It's already 11 years. And it still runs okay. It has 6 gigabytes of RAM and uh, I actually use it for uh, virtual learning with my kid who's in elementary school. Uh, I had, I thought I needed to upgrade the hard drive because uh, while using Lexia Core 5, it was really slow and choppy on Chrome. I was doing, left side is Chrome, right side is Safari. I didn't even think of trying uh, Safari. And so if you're running an older Mac and you're for some reason using Chrome, sometimes Safari actually runs much better. And an example of this is with Lexia Core 5. I'm not sure what uh, platform they're using to uh, do the video and all the learning stuff, but it's choppy on uh, Chrome, but with Safari, it's a lot smoother. So I'm not sure with newer iPads, I mean, newer MacBooks, it's true. There's a MacBook Pro 2013. It probably, if you're gonna use some applications, I think uh, maybe consider using Safari instead. So I'll show you the difference. Uh, so this is left side is Chrome, okay? So I'm gonna try Chrome with Lexia Core 5. And let me just log in. So I'm gonna show you the difference between uh, Lexia Core 5 on a Chrome, on this left hand side, and Lexia Core 5 using Safari on the right side. So let's try clicking onto it, logging on. And you'll see that you there's some sound stutter and even the visual is a little choppy. This is with an SSD, uh, upgrade to the SSD, and it helps a little bit. And so let's see if it shows the little Yodelay Hihu video. Yeah, this Level one. 11, the Swiss Alps. You can see it's not smooth, the animation. So like I said, if you're considering using either browser or MacBook, uh, remember to try either browser to see which one runs smoother. I'm guessing Safari will run smoother. You can see it's choppy right now. During learning, it's a lot better with the SSD. Loading a loading applications is a lot better with an SD SSD on your MacBook. So. So you can use it's kind of choppy. Let me go close this. I'll log into Lexico. Now I'm gonna try Safari. Logging into the login. And you'll see the difference now. Animation's smoother. You won't hear any. Choppiness. Yeah, it's a lot smoother. Let's go play it. Hopefully, it shows that. Level 11, the Swiss Alps. You can see the animation is just smoother. The audio is not chopping out. So, the thing I want to say is when you're using an old Mac or MacBook, just consider trying out each browser to see which one works better. Uh, I'm guessing Safari will probably run better because it's a native browser. And so, that was my experience with Alexia Core 5. I haven't tried any other learning apps, but as I'm saying, this is an old 2009 MacBook and my kids are using it for learning. I could check out one from the district, but I just, I hate borrowing other people's equipment. Maybe someone else who needs it more, needs a, needs a laptop more, can check it out from the district. 
So I just wanted to say you can actually do some virtual learning with an old MacBook 2009. Just remember, maybe try Safari browser instead of Chrome when you're doing some learning. I know Chrome inherently has some better compatibility with some of the Google Chrome uh, classroom apps. So that might be one reason why I'll go back to it.